Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for the single Aries. This is going to be your bonus love reading. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And make sure to check out my new Instagram. I'm pulling daily tarot cards, sharing channeled messages, spells, talking about energy shifts, and sharing updates on my YouTube channel and Etsy store. So if you guys are interested in all that, you can go follow me at Cosmic Tides underscore, and that information is going to be down below. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies can be interchangeable, so feel free to switch around the characters if you need to as we go along. And I'm using the Angel Tarot with the Modern Witch Tarot for you guys today. Let's get started. Okay, so um, I see death was calling in a situation. Death was calling so you could have a new beginning. Um, so you can ascend. So you could go to the next level here. Because I'm seeing it's like you're in the process of getting your shit together here. Um, and like, okay, think about ascension, like flying, right? Okay, so it's like if you carry all these sticks, you're going to be too heavy to fly. Okay, and it's like you had one more stick to put down so you could be light enough to ascend is what I'm seeing. So you decided to clear out that old energy so you can bring in that new energy so the wheel of fortune can turn in your favor. So you can receive the blessings from the burdens of this situation. So you can have your new beginning. So you can ascend. This is where it becomes interesting. So some of you guys um, could have Scorpio in your chart or you could have Cancer in your chart. So this is my Scorpio and Cancer card. Okay, and those two readings tied in together yesterday. And literally the Cancer reading was called Someone Wants to Come Back from the Dead and Resurrect This Cycle. Okay, so definitely go watch that reading. It's going to benefit you. Um, and I'm also seeing it very, very similar here. So definitely there's some Cancer Scorpio vibes going on in this reading. Um, but I'm seeing it's like somebody wants to come back from the dead here. They're watching you move on. Okay, and this person still wants to hold on to you after you cut them off. Okay, and I believe that was also in the Scorpio reading too, so definitely go check that out. Um, yeah, this person is not feeling really good right now. This person is feeling like you're moving on. Like I said, this person still wants to hold on to you. Um, and they're feeling like you moved on already. This person also feels like, it's like they're thinking about you and they think that you're thinking about somebody else is what I'm seeing. Okay, um, and it's because you're not answering them anymore. You're not interacting with them. You're pretending like they don't exist. You're keeping your hands and your eyeballs to yourself here. And this person is thinking about sending you a passionate message here. They want you to keep on giving to the situation. And they're hoping to get judgment in their favor from you, okay? They're hoping to get judgment in their favor for you, but they are allowing more time before they make a, this decision. Um, yeah, they're allowing more time before they make this decision because they feel like you're going to be defensive here. They feel like you're going to be defensive. They feel like you're going to stand your ground. Um, and they're wanting to take this connection to the next phase, but they're scared, like I said, because this person, um, this person thinks a new person has entered your life, okay? So this person thinks you already moved on to somebody else, and they're really scared here. Very scared. And this person is trying to think things through carefully. Um, this person is trying to think things through carefully because... Wow. Okay, so it's like... I hope I don't confuse anybody. It's like... But this person knows that you know that you complete yourself, that you don't need anybody, okay? And they know that you want to cut free from the drama that's attached with this person. So I definitely see this person um, could have quite a lot of competition around them too, um, come with a lot of drama because I keep hearing the word drama, drama. Okay, so definitely I'm seeing that for you guys. And it's like this person knows that you know that you don't need them. You don't need anybody is what I'm seeing. Okay, so again, it's like this person is scared. For some of you too, I'm seeing, yeah. So this person is trying to think things through carefully. You definitely could have children with this person. This person sees you as someone that they could marry and have kids with. If you don't have kids with this person, this is, I'm seeing as a past life thing. So in a past life, you had a family with this person. Okay, um, yeah, in a past life, you had a family with this person. And I see this person wants to come fast here. Um, they feel very bonded to you. So like I said, if you don't have kids with this person, this is like a past life thing. And that's why you guys feel very bonded, a very strong soul tie here. Okay. Um, 
and this person's wanting to come in fast for you because they know there's a lot of people that want you and can give you stability that can give you what you want um for a lot of you guys i'm just seeing like i keep seeing the same thing here something about like having babies with you so this person definitely wants to get you pregnant here for some of you i'm not seeing this in a good light though it's to basically stop competition from going towards you it's almost like yeah claiming they're trying to claim you with a child here so no one else come towards you so no one else can come towards you i really don't like that energy um it's kind of like possessive um either way I am seeing like this person is trying to think things through carefully. They do want to come towards you. They feel like they can, they feel like you're the one is what I'm getting here. They feel like they can have stability with you. Um, and this person wants to come in fast because they know there's a lot of people that want you. Um, for some of you, I just heard like they don't want anyone, they don't want you to have anyone else's babies. I just heard that was a little weird for some of you. Um, it's like if you do have kids with this person, it's like they don't want you to raise your raise their kids with anybody else here. Okay. Um, for a majority of you, though, I'm seeing this person is really trying to come in fast because they know there's a lot of people, a lot of competition around you that will come in fast and give you the stability you deserve. Um, again, they know there's a lot of people that can give you the stability you deserve, but I see this more in their mental realm here. I don't actually see another person with you. Because you're just by yourself here. You're happy by yourself. Like I said, like this person knows that you know you complete yourself, that you don't need anyone. So I just see you kind of being really single and grounded in your own energy, enjoying your stability. Okay, and again, this person's really wanting to come in fast here. Because they feel like, in their mind, they feel like you're already either dealing with somebody else or they feel like people are going to come towards you fast, is what I'm seeing. Um... And again, it's like they know someone's going to give you the stability you deserve. But again, I just see you being single in your own energy because this is a very successful time for you. Definitely, you could have Capricorn in your chart. We have um, Jupiter, the planet of expansion and abundance in the sign of Capricorn, which is finances. So it is expanding your finances in abundance. And I definitely see you guys are receiving a lot of blessings right now. This is a very positive time for you. I see you guys starting a lot of new projects and they're going to turn to gold. You have like the Midas touch right now. So I definitely see you're enjoying your stability. You're enjoying your stability, you're enjoying being in your own energy, you're enjoying the blessings that life has to offer you right now. Um, you're just following your own spiritual path, okay? Um, and because this is such a good time for you, it's like you, you're really happy and it's showing, okay? Um, again, you're really happy and it's showing. It's like this person's thinking about you and they see you happy. They think you've already moved on. They see you in high spirits. They think somebody is making you happy. It's like they can't fathom that the happiness is actually coming from within. You're actually making yourself happy. Life is just making you happy is what I'm seeing. So this person is going within. They're trying to search for God or or the universe, whatever, a higher source. They're going within, okay, because they don't know what to do. This person does not know what to do. This person doesn't know how to approach you. It's like you guys are in this stalemate. I see you guys. I see you. I see this person is thinking about you a lot. And I don't want to say you're thinking about this person too because I don't really see that. I see it's more of like... You'll be doing your own thing, and then, like, because this person's thinking about you, it's like they'll pop up in your mind. Um, but it's like I don't see you actively thinking about this person. I see this person kind of thinking about you a lot is what I'm seeing here, and that's also why you're feeling that. Um, I'm just saying it's like this person doesn't know how to approach you, especially after the deception they put you through. That's why they're going within. They don't know how to come forward. Um, they don't know how to approach you after the deception they put you in, after the third party situation they put you in, because this person, um, yeah, because I'm seeing this person likes to step out of the connection, so they definitely put you in a third party here. And they're watching you come into your own, or they're watching you continue to move forward. Um, they're watching you move on, basically. And again, this person doesn't know how to approach you because they stepped out of the connection in the past. Um, and they know that you're going to refuse to be an option here. They see you continuing to move forward. I see this person as having like a fragile ego. It's like they need to keep options around so they feel better about themselves. It feeds their ego. It makes them feel better about themselves. Okay, so again, this person doesn't know how to approach you. Doesn't know how to approach you because they know you're not going to accept being an option. And I see this person is thinking about, yeah, this person is thinking about asking you on a date here. But again, it's like you know that 
they're not leaving their options even if they come towards you. Like, if this person does not know how to approach you. Also, too, it's like this person feels like you, like, know all their tricks I'm getting. You might know this person very well, or you might be able to, like, read this person very well, especially if you're spiritual I'm seeing here. That's also why this person is scared to come towards you, because they know, like I said, they know that you're moving forward and that you're not going to accept being an option, that you're not going to accept this person stepping out of the connection and putting you in a third party. And you're just wanting to have this new beginning for yourself. You just want good news to come in. You just want to move forward is what I'm seeing. But again, this person's really scared about this. And what's interesting too, I saw this in the Scorpio reading too. So it's very interesting. It's like you both have competition around you. People want both of you. You guys definitely are very attractive. Um, and what's interesting is there's only one difference, which I also saw I think was in the Scorpio reading. It's like... The only difference is this person has options and they entertain them again because they feed their ego. For you, I'm seeing you have options, but you don't want any of it. You don't want any of it because you know you complete yourself. So that's the only um, similarity I'm seeing here. It's like you guys both have people around you. The only difference is you don't entertain. And I was also seeing that in the Scorpio reading. And I feel like that's why this person... I feel like this person like projects on you because again it's like they feel like you already are dealing with somebody else because they know you have options um, and I feel like this person thinks that you entertain your options like they entertain their options and that's why they're so scared here but really you're just headed towards a new beginning for yourself like I said so good news can come in here so that's really interesting um, Yeah, this person is, like, thinking about this. This person's really up in their head here is what I'm getting. There's so much air here. Definitely could be an air sign that you're dealing with, or you could have a lot of air in your chart. Um, I'm seeing lots of air here. Like, this person is really in their head about you, really thinking about this. They want to message you here. It's like I see this person messaging and then deleting it. Like, this person wants to message you, but they're, um, they don't know how. They don't know how to approach you. It's like they kind of want to ask you on a date here. But again, they feel like you're going to be defensive. They feel like you're going to turn them down. Because they put you in a third party in the past. Um, so that's why they think you're going to be defensive here. Yeah, again, this person is really scared that there's somebody else. For some of you, they feel like that's why you're going to be defensive. They feel like there's already somebody else in the picture, and that's why you're being defensive. It's like this person doesn't really know is what I'm seeing. It's all their mind kind of playing this big trick on them. Like I said, it's like they're projecting on you. Yeah, they're projecting on you. I think that was a Taurus one. Um... Yeah, it's like they think you're yeah, it's like they think you're gonna do them like how they're doing you or something like that. Um, I'll probably put it down below, but you definitely could be dealing with the Taurus here too, or have it in your chart, or whoever you're dealing with might. Um, but that's basically what I'm getting here. Like this person is really going within here. Like they literally do not know how to approach you. And this person is scared of the competition that's around you. They're scared someone's gonna give you what you deserve here. And I just see it's like the pressure is on right now for this person. The pressure is on. So it's like somebody has to be like sweeter than your solitude for you to have them in your life is what I'm seeing. Um, and I feel like that's also what's making this person have a lot of pressure. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, since signs you could be dealing with, I'm seeing definitely Scorpio and Cancer, so watch those readings. Um, it'll be beneficial to you. I'm seeing Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Scorpio, Libra, um, Cancer, um, Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, um, yeah, okay, so that's what I'm getting.
Okay, so make sure you check your chart. Whoever you're connecting with, check their chart too. Also check out my Instagram at Cosmic Tides underscore for daily tarot cards, channel messages, all that good stuff. Also check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And also check out my music on all major platforms and SoundCloud. Links are also going to be down below. And I hope you guys enjoy your holiday and I will catch you next week, okay? Alright, bye!